What's up, everyone? Welcome to Ya 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 episode 20. With me, Smash Pop. I'm Jeremy, and this is the uh, podcast where Jason and I get together and we spread those good vibes. So before we start, I just want to say that we are already in 2023. So let's wish everyone Happy, Happy New Year. Year! We are so out of tune. It's not I know, right? <laughs> let's do one more time in three, two, one. Happy New Year! Uh, can la? Can la? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's why we are not singers. <laughs> wow, so it's 2023 already. Uh. Time flies, man. Yeah, like just last episode, we said like, wow, time passed really quickly. And it has not slowed down since. Yeah, and now we are in 2023. And remember last time, right? When when we were in school? Yeah. Uh, when we imagined 2020, we are flying cars. Yeah. Where are we now? Still stuck in traffic. <laughs> With uh, with feeder buses that don't go come on time. Uh, and then uh, LRT can actually break down for seven days. <laughs> and the uh, escalators leading to the MRT also broken for like three months. Correct. So I actually had a similar discussion with a few friends the other day. Right. Uh, we were like, oh, actually, because we were talking about like EV cars. You know, nowadays a lot of people talk about electrical, electric cars, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, uh, by right, uh, this EV are uh, a bit too late already because uh, 2020 is when we are flying in the air already. But, but now it's like, now only we are like slowly dipping our toes into this, uh, you know, whole category of electric cars. And then my friend was like, actually, if you think about it, whatever we imagine 2020 to be, uh, like the flying cars, mm -hmm. it is totally not possible one. Why? It's because number one, mm. there's no road. There's no road, there's no path in okay. the air, in right. the sky, right? So everyone can actually fly up, down, left, right. Okay. So there's even more chance of accidents happening because people just don't go in one direction oh, cause now. Because no, there's no, like, no traffic guidance. Correct. So you can actually go suddenly like, if you're flying one way, right? You're just flying straight. Mm. And then suddenly you're like, eh, hey, actually I forgot my key. Then you U-turn. Right. And then someone flying beside you, you just bang. You know, or someone, or someone is like, or maybe, or maybe you're driving, eh, right. flying. Suddenly you see a bird mm. and then you, you, you just like, go up a bit, hover higher. Right. And then what if above you got another car? Oh. You know? So it is actually not possible to have flying cars. I did not expect to have my heart broken on like the first week of 2023, Jason. We came in here and you decided to completely destroy whatever childhood <laughs> fantasies I had. What is that to look uh, forward to now? What I, is that to look forward to? Actually, why are we even talking about flying cars in the new year? I, you, you wanted to <laughs> take us to the future. <laughs> and now, but, but now you've got despair. That's true, but since we're talking about flying cars, ma, so right. I just thought like, you know, just a thought law, like maybe it is really not possible. It makes sense. I also think that um, like, you know how hard it is for people to get like a pilot's license? Yeah. Can you imagine if they Everyone's to... a pilot now. Yeah, man. Now everybody can fly. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone can fly. And the and the company that can fly uh. finally can flight delay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. Oh with 20, so with 2023 yeah. uh, underway, I think it's it's always nice to talk about like our hopes and aspirations. Yeah, yeah, correct, 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 correct. Like so what what would you like to see happen for yourself personally uh, in 2023 or, or maybe even like globally? Well, globally, yeah. Yeah, because I, I personally first lah. Okay, okay. Like personally first lah. Uh, uh, the uh, global one, we let the politicians talk about correct, it. Correct, correct. Uh, so I feel in 2023, I wish that I can do more things. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're being very specific here, I Jason. Mean, I, I, okay. First of all, of course, I wish to have good health. Wow. Like, like, no COVID, no whatever shit, you know? You know what? That is, you know, you know you hit a certain age <laughs> when that is the first thing out of your mouth. No, no 22-year-old says, I want to have good health. Correct. They'll be like, I want to drink more, you know? I wish uh, all the alcohol are like 50%, you know? Yeah, but when you reach a certain level, you'll be like, I need to have this good health because mm. with good health, we can do a lot more things. Right. So it all starts from having good health law. Okay. Yeah, what about you? I would just like to get paid and get laid. I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> wow, no, Jeremy. I, I mean, no, no, no. I think, I think like for me, um, I just want to, every year it's the yeah. same hope that I have. Mm -hmm. I just want to be able to do more of the things that I enjoy mm. and hopefully have all the things that I enjoy somehow help earn me money so I can keep doing more of it. You know what correct, I mean? Like, correct, so to keep this little cycle going. Yeah. And, uh, and I think if that can happen or if I feel like I'm actively working towards it, I think I'll be very happy. 
Mm, okay, good. So if you guys also have something in mind, like what you guys want to achieve, you know, this is not resolutions. Uh, it's more like what you see. Your dreams. Uh, <laughs> yeah, would happen or you want to happen. Uh, you can also leave a comment uh, mm. on our YouTube channel because apparently got people watch our YouTube videos. Which we are very grateful for, by the way. Uh, correct. Because we never expect people would watch our YouTube. So but it's quite fascinating. I'm just going to like peek behind it. Like it's quite fascinating that yeah. we've, we put out the podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. So we've got an audio version. Yep. We've got a video version that goes out on YouTube. Correct. And then we also do little clips on Reels and TikTok. Yes. And what's really cool is that everybody consumes a little bit of yeah, 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 in differently, di- differently in different platforms. Yeah. But also what's very interesting is mm. when it's time to give metrics to potential sponsors, you don't know how to give. Cannot. <laughs> it's like, oh, our YouTube got three people. <laughs> our Spooning Guy got five. Apple Podcast got two, which is me and Jeremy. So uh, this is an open call. If you would like to sponsor any part or any segment of Yeah, 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 the podcast, feel mm. free to get in touch. We are, we are, we are always open to uh, Correct, because we got like 12 audience. Very devoted audience. Yeah, 12, you know, if you can imagine that 12 people buy your product, you are 12 persons products richer. <laughs> what am I even talking about? <laughs> okay, in 2023, I wish to improve my English language. <laughs> English language is fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway, yeah. um, as usual, let's talk about some Netflix shows that we always watch, about, watch and talk about. Okay. I want to share with you this show oh, no, that why? I've been watching religiously for the past two weeks. Oh, yeah, it's so fascinating that you can come and you can tell me like you watch a show religiously because I mean, you religious- never seem to have time for anything. So when you Correct. say you're watching show, I feel like how much can he be watching? Yeah, when I say religiously means I watch every time when I have time. That's why two weeks I haven't finished. <laughs> okay. You know, like, right. as in as in the whole two weeks I don't watch any other things exactly. except for this show when I have time. Right. Okay. Yeah. So what show is it? At least in Borderland Two, the six second season. Yeah. So good. I, I said, okay, it is not as good as season one, mm-hmm. but I realized that, um, okay, season one, right, it was like so nail biting, I have to like just sit down and watch. It was very intense. Intense, because yeah. it's also in Japanese, so you need to read the subtitles yeah. to know what is happening. Yeah. This time around, season two, I realized that I'm watching a Japanese series right. while doing other things. So it's not as compelling. So it's not as compelling. You're a bit more distracted. Correct. Like I don't mind being distracted by say playing with a cat, eating my nasi lemak, you know. Uh, even though they are speaking Japanese, I don't read the subtitles. I don't even mind if I don't understand what's happening at that moment. But you still like it enough to keep watching. Correct. Because they, I can feel that they, they are still putting effort to entertain us. Lah. Okay. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, okay, lo, since I started season one, I watched law. But it's actually quite nice. You need to watch season one first. I've seen season one. Oh, okay. I, but I, do, you, do you like season one? I did. Here's the interesting thing though. Okay. Alice in Borderland was originally a manga. Huh? Yeah. So oh. I, so I, I read the manga years ago. Okay. And, and, and so I know exactly how it ends. <laughs> I knew, I've known how it ended since like the first season came out. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, but do you still remember the plot? Like the games that they play? I mean, okay. Not super clear. But uh, I remember how it ended. Okay. Yeah. So would you want to watch season two? Uh, I will watch it eventually, but mm. it's not a high priority. Oh. But I but but it's only because I know what happens. Oh, that's true. Right? That's I, true. I, I know because now I, I need to watch it because I don't know what happens yeah. next. Yeah, correct. Yeah. But uh but I, I remember thinking the first season was very, very good. Mm. And uh but this is like you said the second season also good. Yeah. So how far into the show are you? I am halfway through. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um like they are all saying, you know, after we beat all these games, we will be able to go back to the real world. Right. So now I'm just hoping that I get to see them going back to real world or even if it's even possible, maybe the real world actually really no more. Already ended. Right. So this is the new world. Or maybe this is just a game that they are playing and then suddenly they, they like the game ended. So they, they the game closed shop and then you go back to your real world. You know? So I am very curious and I want to know what is your theory of what the ending or how what, what's happening? Like what, what is actually theory? happening? Yeah, right? what is your, what is your is everyone? Pers- yeah, yeah, yeah. What is your theory? I feel that maybe everyone is playing like a VR game. Okay. And those people who are playing, they are in the game and they 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 de into so, the game. So like jacked into the matrix kind of yes. thing. Yes. So that's why there's not many of them. Because maybe in the whole Japan, there's only like this group of people playing this game at the same time. 
Very interesting. Yeah. Interesting theory. Okay, I'm not going to say anything, but I I am very curious to uh, what your reaction will be when you do find out the ending, when you do get to the end. Which we should have, which we should hit by the next time we do a podcast. Not really. Because You're according to my friend, <laughs> according to my friend, he already finished season two, uh. and then he says maybe got season three. Oh really? So I'm like, huh? Means still got games to play, ah? But your friend said maybe only lah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we shall see. We shall okay, see. Okay, okay we shall because I don't actually know if they ended the series in season two. Ah, uh, because you're saying watch, right? Correct. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. Oh. So anyway, what's been up on your side? Ah, uh, speaking of shows to watch on Netflix, mm. uh, Glass Onion. It's the Knives Out version. The Knives Out the Knives Out sequel. sequel. The uh, Knives Out sequel, okay. Glass Onion. It's so good. It's probably Wait, the, 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 the Knives Out was a movie, right? So Knives Out was a movie. And then Glass Onion is a series. It's now. a movie also. Oh, okay. It's just it, but it's like a, it's like this it's like a, the same main it's like James Bond. So I mean I know we're talking about Daniel Craig, right? Yeah. So like so <laughs> Knives Out in, in uh, well, Daniel Craig means James Bond. Lah. <laughs> in Knives Out, he plays a character named Benoit Blanc, who's the detective. James Bond, law? right? James Bond is spy, detective is friend. And he's one a lot more friendlier and cheerful. Okay, okay. And then, uh, and then so basically he re- replays the same character. And this character basically goes around and like solves crimes, like solves okay. murders. Okay. So each movie, I think, will be a new murder to solve. Okay. So this particular sequel, Glass Onion, mm-hmm. is a different m- murder. S- murder. Uh, uh. But it's very well done. It's not related to Knives Out, except for the oh. main character. Oh, so this 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 detective he is assigned to another another murder case. It's like hence you know, it's a whole group of new people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like Murder She Wrote. Do you ever watch that show? Uh no. Okay. It's like oh, we know those old like um detective novels where like every book is a different case, but it's like Hardy Boys. Ah. Uh, like yes. imagine, right? Yes. So it's like that. Ah. Uh. And uh and so it's just really well written. It's really really funny. Very mm. well produced. I think you will enjoy it. Okay. I think you enjoy it a lot. So like Glass Onion is, if you ask me, one mm. of the best movies of 2022. Mm. It's very well done. Okay. Like, and this one won't take you two weeks because it's only a two hour movie. I'll, I'll, I'll have to watch Knives Out first. You right? haven't seen Knives Out? I haven't seen Knives Out. We should watch Knives Out first. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a different <laughs> show. Uh. You don't have to watch Glass Onion to, I mean, you don't have to watch Knives Out to appreciate Glass really? Onion. So you just watch Glass Onion straight up because it's better, ma. They're both good though. But you say Glass Onion is better. I think it's better because it's better produced. Uh, okay, whatever. Like, either or you can watch whichever one you want to watch. Because really what, not related one. In whatever order you want to watch. Not related. Except for the main character. Which, okay, look, good. Mm. I can also watch James Bond because I also got him. <laughs> it's a different feeling though. <laughs> so anyway, I know uh, we just like passed New Year's Eve, New Year's celebration and whatever. Mm. I just want to share with you one experience I had during my Christmas Eve dinner. Ooh, please yeah. do share. So Christmas Eve, right, which was like, few weeks back. Yeah. Um, uh, of course, when we are recording this, it is not lah. Secret for you guys, we are still in 2022, but okay, just pretend we are already. <laughs> I like how we started the show, Happy happy New Year, everybody, and then you go and like uh, <laughs> reveal our secrets. I mean, podcast like that one, ma. You think we record on the day you listen to this podcast, man? No, they ma. You don't know that. Huh? Oh. How? I mean, uh, yeah, let's we just are, pretend, pretend. We, we, are, we are in 2023 now. Happy New Year. Happy New Year again. <laughs> Anyway, like last year, <laughs> during Christmas, uh, in 2022, uh, yeah. So I went to this restaurant to eat with my parents. Okay. Like we were all jolly and happy, you know, drinking, eating. Uh, actually, no, it was just drinking wow. for a while. Okay. Um, because we we ordered food and then we ordered drinks. The drinks all arrived. Okay. And then uh, my dad's food arrived. Right. Right. And then we were like, oh, very nice, take picture, you know. And then I was like, do it, everyone do it first. I want to take a story of all the food we ordered. Okay. And then my mom's food came. All right. And then, okay, okay, do it first, huh? Like, after my food arrives, we can take the picture. Right. And then you all can eat. All right. And then, after like five minutes later, my food never come. Oh, no. And then 10 minutes later, my food never come. Oh, no. And then I'm like, never mind, I just take individual photo of your food. Uh. You all eat because it's cold. Right. You know? So they started eating. Uh, towards like halfway through of their meal, my food still haven't come. Oh no, they forgot your order. <sighs> so after that, uh, I I start to ask the guy to check along. I said, bro, can you please go into the kitchen and check on my food? Right. I ordered lamb chop, uh. you know? How hard is it to do lamb chop for a restaurant? Correct. Right? Yeah. And then he was like, okay, I go and check. 
And then he's like, oh, actually a lot of people order food. Lah. That's why first come, first serve. That doesn't make sense. So I'm like, first come, first serve. My table, you should serve at the same time then. Correct. Then only you move on to the next table. Correct. Then how come my food never come? He said, oh, but different. Because uh, when you order like Western or grilled food, uh, it's another counter, another, another kitchen one. So that one is different calculation. Okay. So I'm like, okay, where is my food then? It's already been half an hour. Right. You know? And then ah, I, I check for you again. And then he came back. Okay, in one minute, you will get your lunch job. One minute? In one minute. 60 seconds. Uh, by then, uh, my, my dad and my mom also like, finished right. eating already. Like nothing. Just uh. looking at me, staring like, don't know for what. <laughs> <laughs> like all the happy is now it's just like, faster uh. eat can, I want to go shopping. You know right, that kind? Right, right. One minute later, uh. no food. Oh no. And then I asked the guy, bro, can you please check again? Where is the food? And he said, okay, I check for you. I will stand at the counter at the kitchen there and wait until your food come out. Okay. And then I saw him walk there to the little hole that, you know, the kitchen serve food one. And then he was standing there for a while until like where there are other food there. So he had to serve. Right. And then he disappeared. Oh no. So I'm like, and then my dad complained. Uh. My dad asked the guy and said, where is the lamb chop? I worked in kitchen before. Uh. I know how easy it is to do lamb chop. Uh. And he's like, no, 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 because the lamb chop, right, we need to really grill it nicely so that it's not like medium or rare because you don't like. Are you we, serious? We, we, want to, we want to grill it so we're going to grill it well so you can eat like a nice lamb chop. I said, I ordered medium well. I'm, I didn't even order well done, uh. you know? And then he said, ah, I'm checking, checking for you. Ah. Then he went there again. And they said, okay, uh, they are plating already. Plating, they are putting the salad in all. One more minute, then you will get your, your lamb chop. Okay. Four minutes, few more minutes later, which is about 40 minutes. <laughs> oh, it's a very long time to wait for food. 40 minutes, huh? Uh. I cannot already. Mm. I said, who, I, I asked the guy again, who is the person in charge here? Mm. And then he said, I'm the person in charge. Mm. I'm like, you? Then he said, yes, I'm the person in charge. I said, then, then, then I don't know how to react because you're already the biggest <laughs> here. I cannot say like, talk to your, I want to talk to your boss, right? So after that, he's like, uh, we are really trying to serve you, you know? Uh. Like, because uh, the grill kitchen uh, is different. So, uh, you know, and they have to do pr things properly. Uh, how you want to do things properly? 14 minutes, one foot never come out. Yep. You know? So after that, I started talking louder. Right. And I, I, I pretended like I'm very angry. Smash mob was ready to smash. Correct. And then he really, really said sorry and all, and he went and checked again. Right. He went and checked again. And then after that, I said, uh, as he was taking out the food, finally, after 45 minutes, I recorded a video of him serving the lamb chop to me on the table. Uh. And then I recorded my watch. Uh. Because I want them to know that I, I've already recorded how long. I want to tell people how long it took for you to serve this lamb chop. Right. And then I said, give me my order chip. Mm. Because the order sheet got the time I order. Right. Then you go and find and then you give me that record. So. Uh. And then I pretend to be like a famous food TikToker. <laughs> you know, I want to talk about the service of this restaurant. And then I walk around the restaurant and then I record a video of myself talking. Uh. I said, this, uh, this, this is the place. You know, look at the logo. They serve farm or whatever. And that's pretend. Uh, you right. know, because I'm very angry. <laughs> Not like I want to post so nobody watch my things. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, I did all this, right? A, a, a lady came. Mm. Hi, excuse me, sir. I heard uh, you have some problem with your food. Uh, my, my team already told me uh, it's about 40 minutes, 40 minutes late. We are very sorry. This is my name card. I said, who are you? Mm. And then she said, oh, I'm the supervisor here. I said, then who is that guy? The uh. guy said he's in charge. Uh. He said, no, no, he's just a crew. So, wow. <laughs> so I'm like, so on so many levels, this would have been so frustrating. Yeah. And right. this is like, my Christmas Eve dinner. Right. My mom was like, please, uh, don't angry. It's okay. Uh, yeah. I said, no, I'm not even angry. I'm just pretending to be angry so that they will do something. Right. You know? Right. And then after a while, the lady said, it's okay, it's okay. Your lamb chop is on us. I said, no need. I got money to pay. Mm. No need. And then she said, never mind, never mind. It's okay. One. Then I'm like, oh, whatever, la, you know, free food good. <laughs> then after that, because my mom waited so long, my mom ordered like chendol for like dessert. All right. Then I straight away talked to the guy who talked to us just now. How long will this chendol take? Let me know now. I don't want to get caught again and wait for another 45 minutes. <laughs> and then he said, I don't know because this depends on the kitchen. I said, go to the kitchen now, ask the kitchen, how long will they prepare the chendol and come back and tell me. 
Uh. And then the lady was also nearby and then she came and said, ah, Chendo will be about like 10 minutes. I said, 10 minutes, huh? Anything longer than 10 minutes, I will complain. Uh. And he said, I said, yeah, sure, sure, no problem. And then like, we did like five minutes, I said, okay. And after that, we didn't know we eat and then we pay bill. And then we pay bill and then the the, the guy the guy at the counter said, oh, sir, uh, because of what, what happened just now, uh, your chendo is free. Okay. Then I'm like, in my head, I'm like, eh, I thought the manager say my lamb chop is free. Not the chendol. Not the chendol, what? Then how? So now they rather give me free chendol because the, the lamb chop is expensive. Wow. So you paid for the lamb chop in the end? I paid for lamb chop. So that was my Christmas Eve dinner experience. Sad to say this is a restaurant we are never going to go. I mean, it's a quite famous restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Later you tell me. Can. <laughs> you will know. Anyway, uh, New Year podcast cannot be so sad. Huh? Ah, okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's start something new. Okay. So basically, uh, we've discussed mm. that uh, in this new year, our podcast, we need to add one a new segment. Wow, oh, I got new feature. We're bringing ah. features to the show. Correct. Wow, who so, are we? Are you guys ready? We're gonna, gonna, gonna preview, uh, preview, right? debut. Debut. Debut this, uh, what, what is it called? Our new segment? Segment stinger. Segment uh, clip. Intro. intro. Ah, okay, segment intro. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Press, huh? Okay, okay, press, press. It's time for the top three. <laughs> it took a long time. We went on. We did a lot of research. We put in the we edited the audio, engineered it to perfection. Uh, it, and it, it did not take us two minutes to do this. We put in a lot of effort, okay? Uh, Whatever a lot it may sound like. Exactly. <laughs> we we took like one hour trying to find this tune, you know. Like two minutes to put it together and record our voice. All right. Uh, so the top three is the new segment where we are we'll just bring up top three random things about random things. Correct. <laughs> That's basically it. Top right? three random things. <laughs> top three ran top three. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. I start. I start. I start. Okay. 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 So <clears throat> since um, it's the new year, right? Right. Um, a lot of people they do like New Year's resolution. Correct. Right. So now I have actually found on this website that lists out like the top New Year's resolution that people usually make in the world. Oh, all right. Okay. That should be very interesting. Yeah. I want to see whether um any of our New Year's resolutions like overlap into this. Correct. Way. And uh, there's a lot lah, but I just picked the top. Three, yeah, la, top three, top okay. three, okay. Number three, mm. you'll be disappointed la, with this list. What is it? <laughs> Number three is get organized. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel personally attacked. <laughs> oh really? Oh, uh, are I you think... not organized? Do I look like I'm organized? <laughs> <laughs> like, we know you are. <laughs> I am I am the embodiment of chaos. That's why it works. Oh, <laughs> so that's why people do this kind of resolution, lah. Get organized. Correct. And like you, my you don't come into my, my bedroom is a mess. My life is a mess. Everything is messy. Wow. I've been trying to get organized for the last twenty five years of my life. Maybe um, messy is the new organized. I mean, I think it's good to just drop my standards of what organization is. Like. Yeah, as long correct. as I still have a house and my stuff can be found, I think uh, we're okay. Okay. Doesn't matter where it so is. So actually that is a legit resolution. Lah. It actually is a legit one. Okay. Number two resolution that people make for New Year's. To lose weight. Oh, this is very normal, right? I feel everyone, everyone has this resolution. Yeah. Like even if you are like thin, like a statistic. Even if you're already kind of thin You will still want to lose weight. I don't know why. Which is why gym memberships always get you for a year long subscription. Mm. Because they know that like by the time March, April comes around, you're not going to go, but you're still going to keep paying. Correct. Okay. Also legit lah. Huh? Yeah. But also law. Okay. 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 Top one resolution that people make for New Year's. Mm. Exercise more. Is that kind of the same as number two? True. Oh, but, but, but this maybe like fitness sometimes. Based. Yeah. Fitness based law. <laughs> like, oh, I want to, you know, work out more. I want to lose. Eh? Lose weight. Huh. Okay, I want to be healthier. Ah, Hence, healthier. I want to exercise more, you know. I want to have better stamina or something like that. Yeah. You know, I want to train my leg muscles. Ah, training leg muscles does not mean losing weight, mark, correct? Correct, correct. Ah, so, so those are the top three resolutions that the people in the world make every single year. Whether they keep to it or not, I don't know. It's so interesting that you brought the exercise one. Mm. Because I don't know if you noticed, but like today, my head and my neck not turning properly because I kind of pull the muscle. Oh no. Because I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to try and do a little bit of exercise. And then what you did? And then I accidentally ended up pulling the muscle and now I cannot move at all properly. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know why people make this resolution. I've given up and it's like already the new year. Wait, 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 wait. You keep it for 2024. 
<laughs> all right, all right, not my time, my time, my time. Okay, okay, all yeah. right. So, as we're entering the new year, mm. the Kuailo New Year is over, but we mm. haven't entered Chinese New Year yet. Correct. So, these are the top three things to prep for CNY, for Chinese okay. New Year, all right? Mm. Okay, and number three is the most basic. You got to clean your house. Oh, definitely. Right? This one, the mother will say, please clean house, uh, clean your room, uh, your bed sheet change. Uh. This is the only time it pays to still live with your family. Uh, and, then they say, and, then, and then your mother will say, hiya, still haven't finished. Uh. Never mind, let me, let me do, let me do. You don't know how to do one. Uh. <laughs> Even if you're doing it, they will complain, uh, right? Yes. Okay. Number two, buy new clothes. Oh, confirm. This one maybe will happen before clean your house. Oh, really? Uh, so one or two months before Chinese New Year, uh, mother will say, hey, buy new clothes, buy new clothes. Because the cleaning house is right before Chinese New Year. Ma. Correct. Because if you clean too early, you become dirty. Yeah. <laughs> but you need to buy new clothes right after Christmas. Because right after Christmas is when all the summer clothes come out. Uh, not the winter clothes anymore. Right. Uh, so you need to buy baju there. And number one, mm. and this is my favorite, settle all your debts. Mm, very Chinese, this one. And this one goes both ways. What the you debts mean? you owe people and oh. the debts people owe you. But if people owe you, it's okay what? Yeah lah, but it's also nice to have spending money lah. Ah, that's true lah. And then you should also remind people because in a way, you want them to be like, hey, I want you to enter New Year with a clean slate. You should, don't forget to pay me. Ah, uh, that's five million ringgit. <laughs> 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 okay. That was a good two list. Uh, the two top three resolution and what to prepare. For Chinese New Year, is it? Yeah. I forgot already. <laughs> Top three things of what to prepare for Chinese New Year. Ah, correct. Do we, do we play the sound again or not? Oh yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Wait, to, we to, end, to end the segment, ah, right? Ah. Okay, okay, okay. It's time for... The Top 3! Maybe we should prepare an outro. That yeah. was... That was <laughs> the top three. <laughs> Never mind. Next episode, <laughs> la, we improvise. Uh, New Year's resolution. Oh, man. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. All right, man. So, yeah. With the with the New Year's and stuff like that mm. coming around, it's so cool. Yeah. Also, maybe uh, New Year, we should also learn to make new friends. Ooh. You know? Ooh. ooh, ooh. Yeah. Do you find like... Do you find... It becomes harder to mm. make new friends as you grow older. Correct. Because we hang out less. And also, like everybody in our age group, as you grow older, mm. what happens is they sometimes start families and they mm. have less time to socialize because they're all very involved in their families. Mm. So like single guys like you and me, it's a bit rare. And mm. you end up, and I don't know about you, but I personally find that I start meeting younger and younger people. Oh, same. Right? Yeah. Because the older people, they are all at home playing with babies. Yeah. Uh. And we got no babies. And hence, we're hanging out with all the young people. Yeah. So it's almost like, we will grow older, mm. but the age of the people we hang out with always stay the same. Correct. We are vampires. Correct. <laughs> but of course, uh, there's also a thing uh, like, you know, when you want to make new friends, mm. how do you know whether that friend or that person or that stranger has bad traits or not? Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. How, like, how do you put it? How, how do you, how do you, like, how do you identify if this person is basically a good person or a bad person? Or before person that, you make friends Before you make friends, like, what are, uh, what are like the, the red flags of, a, of another person, right? Correct, correct, correct. Like, what's, what, for uh, me personally, mm. um, the one thing that I always take note of is how they talk to, like, people like waiters or servers. Mm -hmm. Like, if they are rude to servers, odds are I cannot be their friend. Right? So, in order to know that, you need to go makan with the new friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like or just see how they they deal with the people who around around, around them who are not their friends. Ah, correct. Because mm. it's very easy to be nice to your friends. Correct. But is it? Are you able to be nice to the people who are not your friends? Who maybe are not important in your life? You're just passing by. Uh, hence, right? you have you don't need to respect them. Correct. You know. Yeah, like no consequence if you don't respect them. Mm. But there is a consequence. You will lose me as a friend. Yeah, correct. <laughs> to me, uh. I feel very easy. One, don't even need to go spend money to eat. Huh? I'll just look at the face. Huh? Really one? You... Everyone's face uh, got this got this look one. If you're a bad person, <laughs> right? You have a bad person's face. <laughs> if you are a good person, okay. you have a good person's face. Really one. I need to I need to understand this. This is a very fascinating okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so how how and how would you throughout my whole life uh -huh. I've been doing this and I feel that my judgment is actually quite Legit. So when you see a person and you think he's a good, he's a bad person, he's a bad person's face, um, you don't be his friend. Not just bad, bad. Mm. Sometimes it's like this fur, it's this fella, very stingy one. Ah, ah. This fella, uh, don't like to spend money one. Right, right. Uh, right. This fella, uh, always very bad tempered one. So you can, can see one from the face. Really? Yeah. Yes. 
like maybe like the eyebrow, you know, like for example, eyebrow like mine, uh. because they are like curved, uh. um, like a uh, top circle, top semicircle. Yeah, curved, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So usually mm. eyebrows like this are usually people who are like, f- uh, like tamer, as in as in they are not evil. Okay. They are happy go lucky. Right. And if your eyebrow is like straight, uh, ver- uh ho- horizontally, uh, okay. or like. It tilts up a bit on both uh, sides. Uh, you know already, ma. The eyebrow, if you tilt up on both sides, uh, it's bad people, ma. <laughs> <laughs> really? I, I have never. <laughs> I need to pay attention to people's eyebrows. But yeah. what about the girl? Okay, so what for example, the, uh, for example, uh, if you meet someone, the lips uh, is damn thick one. Uh, you know they like to sing. Huh? Correct or not? I, you don't. You don't think about this. Uh? I don't think about this at all. So I only if, think like if the their lips. Is, if their lips is very thick, uh, uh. they sh- either has a very strong voice, all right. which means they like to shout okay. or talk loudly, or they like to sing. Huh. Mm. I'm gonna have to write a list down and do like some comparative analysis for this. Yeah, it's but, like that one. But what about the girls who draw their eyebrows? Then they draw the sharp, sharp kind. Ah, uh, also depends what kind of brow they like to draw. It reflects their personality one. Because if they like to be strong, mm. they like to control, then they will draw the eyebrow like the bad people eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So so how accurate would you say this thing of yours is? I would say it's about 80 to 90% accurate based on my lifetime experience judging people. Really? Yeah? Judging people. Judging people. people. Looking at people's face. <laughs> ah. Quietly judging people from afar. You. Yeah, like this one, this one cannot. This one an angry one. Ah, angry people got angry face. Like, like very calm people got calm face. Oh. Mm. Usually people with small eyes, they are not very bad tempered one. Small eyes are not bad tempered. Small t- small eyes most of the time. Uh-huh. They are a little bit uh like uh but like to like to spend time with themselves. Uh-huh. They are a little bit quieter, calmer. Oh. Huh. I feel. That's so interesting. Like people with big eyes, right? They are more uh sociable, they are more outward right. facing, I feel. Okay. Yeah. Then like my eyes big or small? Your eyes is like quite big. Huh, really? Uh? Uh, like you can, that's so why you can social, you can oh. talk. Okay. So like, based on then your experience with me, like what was your impression of me when you first met me? Uh, Playful. That way, I, I think anybody used to know lah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, got the playful face ma. Uh, uh, oh, this is so interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, from now on, yes. anytime I'm going out on a date or I'm meeting new people, I'm going to send you a picture. Yeah, you, you can send me. <laughs> like Tinder, I see your face, I know already I can hang out with you or not. I see your face, I, I know you always like watch anime one or oh. you like to read books one, you know. I love it though. This is great. I never yeah. knew you had this secret power. Uh, yeah, that's probably my secret power. <laughs> like, correct. Like, if- <laughs> Dude, if this whole like social media taking pictures thing, like you want to do side hustle business reading faces, uh, I'm all for it, man. You know what 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 do, what do you call those? Uh, like those people uh, sit at the roadside outside the what, temple. Like fortune teller. Fortune really. teller. Ah. I can be fortune teller. But I don't know how to read your palm, I can read your face. I see your face like mm, this one cannot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, has there ever been a situation where like you've been like Surprised though? Like uh yes. That's why I say it's 18 or 90. Okay. Like the 10 to 20%, right? Sometimes I'm surprised, like, huh? This face is like this. Oh. Then I need to like recalibrate my my thing, you know? Interesting. Yeah. That's it. Like, I'm I'm definitely sending you pictures of people I'm like, meeting now. Yes, please. <laughs> like in the middle of the night. Hey, just, this one can uh, this one. Uh, uh, maybe the- you can show me a picture of your friend that I don't know. Uh. Then I tell you what I feel is their character. Then you tell me correct or not. I don't know about What's that. I don't know about anybody. Let me, just, let me just open up my Instagram really quickly and let uh, me just, like people that you really know, ah. Uh, I feel that I really that I don't know that I really know that you don't know. Huh. Uh, what well, not? That's very tricky. We have a lot of people in like circles. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, how about how about uh, I show you a picture of somebody that I kind of know, kind of know, uh, kind of like maybe not accurate law. If I tell you, then you also don't know. But maybe you will say things that are like broad enough for me to gauge. Okay, okay, okay. Ken, I try, uh, I try my best. Let Make sure me... the photo is clear, huh? Without filter, the puppy face, <laughs> ear, all cannot. That's gonna be very hard. Let me try. Let me try. Uh, uh like that. <laughs> huh? <laughs> scroll, scroll, scroll. Like where? Where's the face? The face is somewhere here. Okay, you just scroll, scroll, last scroll, scroll, scroll. Let, like very hard. Uh, this one, this one, this one. This one? Uh. This one, ah. Uh? Ah, uh, this one, this one. Oh, okay, okay. This one is definitely English educated. Okay. Um, and she likes uh, somewhat girly things, but a little bit auntie one. 
Uh-huh. So like flowers, flower shirt, flower okay. design. Okay. And then um, she can drive, but maybe not very good driver. Wow, that is such a weird thing to say about somebody, okay? Huh. I mean, from that look. Uh. And then uh, she also sometimes a bit like busybody with friends' uh, issues. Oh, that one uh. I don't know about that one. Uh. But and the- she likes to eat. Oh, that one I think quite true. Uh, okay, <laughs> la, so maybe something like that. Oh, very enough. interesting. Oh. Got right. I mean, they overlap. Lo. I mean, she's a very big fan of like BTS la, for somebody who also like this auntie who like flowery things says about right. Uh, okay. <laughs> and then she has to eat. <laughs> she has to eat. Okay. Mm. You need to sit in her car and see whether she's she's a drip bad driver or not. Oh, I should ask her later. Uh. Hey, do you drive well or bad? Let me, let me just <laughs> so, ask her. Oh, until later she say, oh, I just came out from the police station by accident <laughs> last night. <laughs> Yeah. That's just a good power to have, man. I did not know this about you. Yeah. So I'm just going to have to trust and rely on your opinion of people yeah. from now You on. see how I bargain, you know, Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, see yeah. the auntie, I know I can cheat her. <laughs> <laughs> I love it though. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. So well actually, anyway, Happy New Year. Happy New Finish Year. Finish tired already. <laughs> Let's end the episode, uh, episode 20. Uh. What? 20 in 2023. Quite nice. Not bad. Mm. Three more episodes will be 23 in 23. Let's look forward to that one. Okay. So please subscribe to us on uh, YouTube. Well, because, you know, our YouTube famous now. <laughs> no. Got one follower. Watch. <laughs> and uh, subscribe, you know, follow. Follow us on Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts. Also follow our Instagram, uh, Smash Pop. Jerry says. And see you guys in the next episode, which is episode 20. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.